Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. We're gonna do another what I eat in a day video today. I do eat in a ketogenic friendly way, so that's what you're gonna see here. I try to keep my carbs low, my fat high, and my protein somewhere in between. So there's that. We have errands to run yet again. I swear, this is my entire life is homeschooling, errands, racing around, lessons, all the things. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do today. I had every hope and intention of eating when the sun rose today and shifting my eating window earlier in the day, but that, that did not come to fruition for me. So I've thus far had one cup of black coffee and I'm debating on whether or not I should have any fatty coffee or if I should just go ahead and have a second cup of black coffee and then have real food when we get back. I think that might be the route I choose, but we shall see. We are going to go get haircuts today. Everybody's hair has been growing and it's been about, what, five months since we got haircuts last. We need to clean up the ends before we kickstart the fall. So that's what we're going to do. A few more errands beyond that as well, because like I said, our life is just running errand after errand after errand these days. But when I have food, I will bring that to you. All right, while we were out, I only drank a few sips of coffee. We were just doing so many things in and out of the car. It wasn't worth it to keep that in my hand the whole time. And I'm pretty hungry since I haven't had any food. So I just threw together a cold lunch that I had with stuff in the fridge. I have two slices of this turkey breast. I placed one slice of pepper jack on each piece of turkey. So that's two slices of turkey two slices of pepper jack cheese. I topped each one with one of these sandwich stuffers, kosher dill pickles, and I have two hard boiled eggs. These hard boiled eggs turned out to be a lot more difficult to peel, so that was a little bit frustrating. And then I have some of my homemade mayonnaise and sriracha that I plan to dip everything in, and I'm sure I'm going to want more food after this, and I will share that when that comes about. Lunch was delicious, and I'm going to finish up with this no-bake peanut butter cheesecake on a chocolate and peanut crust. I made this earlier, and um, we only had a little bit left, so I'm trying to clear it out of the fridge. I'm gonna take this slice, my daughter's gonna take the other one, and that will free up one of my casserole dishes, which is ultimately my current goal. I also managed to drink about one drink from my coffee cup here, so I'm gonna to continue to drink this. I have been drinking water, so that's not a problem, but there we go, after lunch dessert. Well, here's the new haircut. Nothing fancy, nothing special, just cleaned up on the ends, which is what it needed in my opinion. Here's my coffee. I keep racing past it as I run from the laundry down to the basement, over to the office space. It's just, there's been a lot of different things happening right now and coffee and I have been ships passing in the night. So I'm gonna take this down to the basement. My girls and I, my big girls and I are gonna finish watching The Hobbit. My oldest read The Hobbit for literature over the summer and now that we're completely finished with The Hobbit, all of the uh, testing and essays and all the things that I have her do, I am a mom who does tests. <laughs> Um, nobody sees them but me, but I do still make the test things happen. As sort of the reward to finishing it, she didn't want to finish it because she wanted the story to go on and on and on. But as the reward for finishing it and wrapping it up, we've been watching The Hobbit movies. So I'm going to go actually drink this coffee while we continue on the first installment of The Hobbit trilogy and uh, yeah. That was too much explanation. Be blessed. All right, it is 5.40 almost. We are going to our home group tonight, hosted at another friend's house. I'm bringing tater tots because kids, hot dogs, hamburgers, that kind of thing, that is on the menu. And I'm also bringing a little veggie tray. So I will probably be eating just a hamburger with some cheese and maybe a little bit of lettuce and tomato, um, hopefully pickles. 
we're on a pickle kick. And then I will have maybe a couple of things off the veggie tray, like a few pieces of celery or something just for some crunch. But beyond that, I don't expect to have anything. I am hungry though. I am legitimately hungry. I think I might go ahead and put together a fatty coffee so I can take that along with me and um, have that after a burger and a few little accoutrements with that. And then I just got my order of um, Perfect Keto Nola Bars in recently, so maybe I should pick a flavor and bring one of those. Ooh, that sounds like a great plan. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I played MCT Powder Roulette and pulled out Salted Caramel. I'm glad I didn't wind up with Strawberry because I have tried that and it is not my favorite in coffee. So I did go ahead and blend up some decaf coffee with half a scoop of Salted Caramel. I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of bubblies to drink and then I'm bringing, um, well, one for me, one for my husband, and then I'm bringing a couple of Nola bars, a peanut butter, and a macadamia nut. Wait, I'm sorry, white chocolate macadamia nut. And um, yeah, burgers and hot dogs, only I'm just gonna stick with a burger for dinner tonight. Well, it's the next day. I failed to pick up the camera again, other than to show you my, ev my late night snack, I guess. At our friend's house, I had a burger that had a slice of cheese on it, a piece of like green leaf lettuce, a tomato slice, some pickles, like pickle chips, and then um, some cubes of cheese. And I had the one Nola bar that was the white chocolate chip macadamia nut or white chocolate macadamia nut. It was delightful. Drank all my coffee and then we got home, got the girls in bed. I was starving, starving, like rum rumbling tummy, felt weak, all the things. So I made myself some pepper jack cheese, pecans and pepperoni, which those three tend to be a staple for me when I have nothing else that I am like able to focus on to produce. I was not in a mood to cook last night at 9.30, so that's what I ate. And I was shocked. This morning my ketones were at a 1.7. What? So I guess I needed that snack and it didn't harm my, my keto numbers, my ketone numbers. Say the whole word, Lindsay. <laughs> If this is one of my first videos for you, welcome. I'm glad you're here, and I would love to have you poke around my channel, see if the content I produce is stuff that you are interested in and consider subscribing. For my returning viewers, I appreciate you being here. I'm gonna leave you there. I need to go put some earrings in. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.